And we're back again. And this time we're going to do a background with the eggshell. So I promised you a story. Creepy. A little bit creepy. Um, when my, uh, the dog, the dog I had before, Nookie, um, that was an uh, Alsatian, or no, how do you call it? German Shepherd? Yeah. Uh, so when I had him, and he was a really funny dog. He bit everyone, <laughs> yeah, uh, but not us because he was uh, really sweet. But you know, I never let him bite. But we put him, you know, in a different room if we had people over or something like that, because you don't want to have a dog biting someone. But he was a little bit aggressive. Don't know why. Well, I do know why. It's a long story. <laughs> okay. Um, I bought him. He was one of those dogs that they um, raised for um, the police or someone or the military or, you know, he was, they have these names for it in Germany, um, but it, they're dogs that, you know, are really, I don't know, aggressive, but I didn't know that. What I wanted is a dog that didn't have that... Um, hip displacement thing so he was really expensive he had a really good um, pedigree and um, that's why I bought him and I didn't want a dog that had the hip thing um, I really think that's a bad thing so when he died and he he lived to let's see how old did he get I think 15 years old and that's very old for a German Shepherd but like two days before we decided you know it's time to put him down and I think that's nasty put him down you know what I did you know I, I called like six six seven of those uh, vets to have that done in my home and no one would come they are such stuck-up people they said oh just put him in a car bring him here I'm thinking, no way am I going to do that. So I called like for almost a week. It took me to get someone in my home to do that. And uh, he died on my couch where he always laid down. So we had to get rid of the couch after that because, yeah, well, when they die, you know what happens. Um, so um, two days before we did that, there comes a dove. A really funny dove he sits in the neighbor's windowsill so he can look into the living room and he just sits there and he doesn't go away and it was really creepy because he just sat there and watched and I gave him something to eat and I put a little thing of water outside and he just sat there watching and then when we uh, had the vet over and uh, his name was Woody I have really strange names for animals but when Woody died the next day he was gone that was really really weird so now when my fish jumped out of the pond two days before the fish did that I have a duck in my pond and guys we never have ducks in ponds here you know when it's your house these are wild ducks they in Holland, they, there's water all over the place. They don't come to your house and swim in your pond. Not in a little pond like this, anyway. So, um, there's this duck sitting there. And somehow I had a feeling something's not good. Because that's, that's what happens when things happen. So, um, that's he's still here. Every evening he comes and he sleeps here in the pond. And the next morning he goes away. And then in the evening he comes back and he sleeps in my pond and it's so strange. It really is. But the creepy bit is that I think it has to do with um, that someone's going to die or something's going to die. Because it's always been like that. It's a little morbid, right? I'm sorry, I'm morbid. I don't think it's morbid. I sort of think it's really just a, something that happens.
Okay, a little bit more of the turquoise. Now we're going to do this same thing I did on the big one, only I'm going to do it on the little one. So I have that color. I'm not going to put orange in, am I? No, I'm not. Nah, maybe a drop just to see what it does. Not too much. Then a little bit more of this. And we're going to top it off with the background color. That's it. Am I going to smack it in the middle? Yes, I am. And very slowly let it go down there. That's kind of nice. This time I'm not going to use the airbrush. I'm going to be using a big fat straw because I know that not everyone has an airbrush. Eh, too fat. This one will work better. Well, you know, when I get really quiet, I'm really liking something, right? <laughs> yeah, I like this. Wow! That really turned out pretty. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Oops, not too much, though. I really need a new torch. I still haven't got the new torch. I would maybe like a little bit up here that it I think that's pretty. Don't see any yellow whatsoever. Yeah, but it has a nice composition to it. I like how it goes from one end diagonal to the other. A little bit over the edge here. I do see it going down there, which I have to fix here. Just a tiny bit going down. I like that. And up here too, but it's sort of a drip, so I'm going to make sure that it looks more like it poured way over, over the side. But I do like this um, burnt umber brown instead of the uh, Van Dyke, so that's kind of uh, pretty. But here there's some something that I don't like. Let's see if I have a little bit more paint, because I really don't like that bit. Twirling it a little bit to get the colors a little bit mixed. And we'll put a little plop on here.
That's better. Ooh, perfect. Not too much. You see that when you use your torch, which is a creme brulee torch, just one of those chef's torches, you can get them in a baking shop, cooking shop, whatever. Um, you see that when you just hover over it, you know, just warm it up, already you see those cells explode. And that's all you have to do. You don't want to be going over and over. If you don't see anything happening, it's not going to happen because otherwise you just burn your paint and that's not good. I'm letting it move just a little bit. Stretch those cells up just a bit more. I think that's pretty. And I'm going to let this flow over the side. I think that is a bit too much of a solid blue. That's good. Yes. See that? Now it's not as solid as it was and this looks better. Uh, make sure that it goes down the side a little bit. Okay, it's ready. I like it. I think next time I'll skip the orange too. Yep. Okay guys, see you in a bit. Love you.